Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we had a lot happen, actually. Actually, I have to write down some notes. Uh, so first and foremost, we met up with the courier that uh, Isaac Abrams... Abram? Abram Isaac? Something like that. The Baron of Hollywood. Um, asked us to meet to find the, the tape, the horror tape that he purchased. Uh, the courier was pretty fucked up uh, in the sense that he was a little out of his mind. Something really had him spooked. Uh, he gave us uh, a name, Ginger Swans, and he said he hit it there. As he ran away, something caught him and pulled him into the sewer, where we found his leftovers. A lot of blood in an arm. Um, we eventually found out that Ginger Swan was a celebrity, and uh, she had a mausoleum in the cemetery uh, that's where we went and found the horror tape and now we have to bring it back to Isaac and speaking of cemetery we actually withstood five minutes of a zombie horde trying to escape the cemetery while the caretaker Romero had to go out and buy a six-pack and he entrusted us to make sure zombies didn't escape which we did and we got a nice few experience points for it and he gave us um, some shooting tips or our firearms stat went up. Uh, what else did we do? We went to the Vesuvius, the strip club in the area where the vampire owner, Velvet Velour, uh, commissioned us to basically take out a hunter, uh, an undercover hunter named Chastity, who works at the Sin Bin. Um, basically, just kind of take her out without taking out any innocence along the way, which we did. Uh, and after we told her, she gave us another quest to basically get rid of uh, this guy, David Hatter's, uh, what is it, his, his script? Because he's a writer, because everyone in Hollywood is a writer. Um, and that's because his script basically has to do with the Kindred Society. Someone has been feeding him intelligence, I guess, unknowingly, and she said not to touch David Hatter, not to harm a hair on his head, but to get rid of the script. So yeah, that's where we're at. So I'm thinking first... Scream. Fine, fucking scream. See if I give a shit. Um, first, what we'll do is... Uh, talk to Hatter, David Hatter, and get rid of the, um, what's it called? The script. Is it here? It's here. And we'll make sure not to touch a hair on his head. Night eating you? About that manuscript you were telling me about. You have an extra copy? A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you in the business? Because, man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. Uh, I know a few people interested in making a vampire pick. You do? Man, that's fantastic. I, I, can, I can give you my screenplay if you promise to keep it safe. Don't worry about it. Say, any core writers or collaborators? I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. Here's my offer you get to keep your eyes. Um, how much will it cost to share his name? Well, I don't know. I mean... How's 50 bucks? Do you know how much sending manuscripts to agents costs? All right, I bet $500 sounds pretty good to you now. Good, good enough. You know, uh, he goes by Julius. I I'm supposed to meet him under the Santa Monica Pier tonight. Please, please don't tell him about this. I'll be sure to tell you the one that sold him out. Pleasure doing business with you. Later, bro. Can I? There was a computer back here. Everyone's in dreamland. No, I can't do that. Into... The dub of night. Okay, so I think that's something we'll save uh, when we go back to Santa Monica. Oh, Julius is one of the Thin Bloods. Interesting, interesting. 
Why do I hear honking when there's no cars? Tell me why. I'm not a Malkavian. More. Are they up there? There's no cars even on the highway. Oh, is there a line? I'm sorry. I'll wait my turn. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna cut in line. Yeah, I'm that kind of asshole. And you know there's a guy outside just lurking outside your door? Oh well. You made good time. Hand me the item. Here you go. I didn't doubt you'd find this. And I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first... This tape... I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. It's more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? That was sick. Why the hell did I need to see that? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. So you think this tape has something to do with their disappearance? I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Okay, where do we find a better copy? Behind the spit shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Smut, eh? Well, all right. I'll go take a look around. Well, if it's smut we're looking for, I doubt we'd find anything better than the sin bin. Okay, did you just disappear and teleport back there? Hollywood's crazy, man. Oh, but, uh, auger resources. Uh, no. You walked into me. Fuck you. Uh, no. Okay, I walked into you that time. Where was I going? Sinbin? Whatever the fuck your name was, I already forgot. Smitty? What can I do for you, Slick? Flynn, that's what it was. I got a few questions. Yeah? What do you want to know? You ever heard of Death Mask Productions? Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? I have a tape that they made. I'm trying to find out if it's real. A tape? You mean the tape? You've got a copy of it? Have you seen it? That's right. What of it? Look, man, get the hell out of here, all right? I don't want any part of that scene. I hear people seeing that tape ain't been coming home for dinner. I don't deal in that kind of stuff anyway, so just take it somewhere else. Uh, I thought you said this place had everything. You must know something. Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, get the hell out of here. 
Come on, you won't tell me anything? No way, man. Now either you buy something or get out of here. What can I do for you, Slick? Okay, well... Yeah? Flynn, I need to find Deathmask Productions. Forget it, man. I don't even know... Fine, let's talk cash. Cash? Well, that changes things a little. But we're talking about some pretty hot info here. 500. Underground stuff, you know. Like the kind of info that $500 might get you. Extortionists. All of them. Fine, here's your cash. Okay. Look, all I know is that a guy calls on the payphone down the street every once in a while. He'll say something like, the moon is a terrible mistress or some creepy shit like that. Yeah, and then what? And then all you have to say is, who walks the night with demons of dread? Supposedly, you'll be told where to meet the guy to pick up product. I don't know for sure. I, uh, I never tried it. It scared the shit out of me. Thanks for the info. Don't walk home alone tonight. Hey, wait. Look, you might as well know this. Word on the street is that they didn't even make the video. They're just distributing it. No one even knows where it comes from. I'm telling you, man. Whatever you're in, get out of it now. I wish I could, Flynn, but I'm in for good. In like Flynn. So, you hear a telephone? Oh, is that where, where I heard the phone ring before? Over here? the night with demons of dread the lucky star motel room two don't be long oh uh, whatever whatever man how much cash do i have now okay i still have about 1500 bucks Hey, listen, you're about to hear some crazy shit, probably, coming from one of the rooms. D don't worry about it. I, I, I got it. It's all good. You said room two, right? Oh, boy. Internet cafe key. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh -oh, oh, oh. Clean up on aisle two, if you catch my drift. We had a key. Oh, was it the back area? Oh, like Oh, Jesus! That was unexpected. I was about to say, I was expecting it to go down, and this thing fucking exploded, too. Fuck. All girls must sign in. No new chat without money. Oh, fuck. This looks like... Walked into my axe. Yeah, I lost him. Yeah, you lost him. You definitely lost him. Okay. 
Oh, fuck me. These are like some Zamiti creations, man. I don't even want to know why Zebra's there. Morphine bottle. Please keep slop sink clean at all times. Thank you. Okay. Um, what have I gotten into? And this was all above the internet cafe? Oh. thing lock picking six but I really want that what is that is that a stereo all right this is what I'm gonna do lock picking is security so I've index Um, okay, I guess we'll have to come back at some point for it, assuming it'll let me. Come on. Sure walk fast. I didn't even see that thing. So that one area they made porn here, they make smut, I guess. I don't even know. This is like glory hole execution. Say goodbye to Mr. Pee Pee. And you're dead. Oh, Jesus, man, what the what the fuck is going on up there? Dead, everyone slaughtered up. Oh, God. Shh, shh, shh. Don't, don't make any noise. They'll, they'll hear us. Who are you? Do you work for DMP? Yeah, yeah, I mean, no, 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 fuck it. Yeah, I'm with DMP, U50. The hell's going on? Those are the same creatures on your tape. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, but, but we didn't make that shit. I mean, one of the guys stole it, found it in the creepy house in the hills. We just copied it and put our names on it. Worse than anything we ever did, worst thing I ever saw. House on the hills? Does he mean Grout's mansion? Uh, yeah. What goes on down here? Parcheesi? Some of it, yeah, it was it was bad, but you know, no one ever really mattered. J junkies, runaways, most mostly doing them a favor. <sighs> this must be what they call poetic justice. Please, please, just just get me out of here! Oh no! Ah! What? the fuck? This guy just like melt out of existence? Um, and I know I could have asked him about the mansion. I doubt we would have like figured out where it was anyway. Like he wouldn't have told us. He would have gotten killed. 
Ah, okay, we didn't need the lock picking after all. Complete horror tape. Yeah, you know, these guys seem scary, but that they're actually not all that tough. I mean, yeah, they do lethal damage, but... Is everyone cleared out from all the noise? Yeah. I can't believe all that was literally above... Above here. And no one knew. Okay, I guess we're going to talk to Isaac again. Mm. Bitch, I'll give you a reason to scream. You can decipher that any way you like. Are you still here? Hey. I mean, since you're right there. Might as well. Life gives you lemons. You suck its blood. Any luck? Yeah. Those things on the tape, they're real. Then this is no doubt the work of a fiend. Hand me the tape. There might be something on it that will give us some insight into what its motives are. Oh, that's a fucked up mansion. I love how these things have anuses. in the tape. I know it. It's in the hills. King's Way, if I'm not mistaken. My guess is that the fiend that made this tape is using these creatures to hound the Nosferatu, which would explain their sudden absence. They're trapped. Well, it's unfortunate that the prince needs you to see the Nosferatu, because it looks like this fiend knows how to get at them, and I doubt he's going to draw a map for you. Looks like King's Way is your only way in, unfortunately. Guess I'll head to King's Way. Thanks, Isaac. I can have a car drop you off when you're ready. If I don't hear from the Nosferatu within the next few nights, I'll tell LaCroix he's going to need a new leading man and march a few of my own troops up the hill to finish the job. Thanks, but I'll take a cab. If I may give you one final word of warning, do not trust LaCroix. Do not play the damned politics of the Camarilla. This city hasn't needed them in a long time and won't ever. Who should I trust? That's for you to decide. I only know who you can't trust. I'll remember that. Goodbye, Isaac. Yeah, as I said before, I'm not really like fully playing to the camera list tune. Um, I get why they do what they, what they do. But... Um, Buy a watch. <laughs> being a... Uh, being as knowledgeable as I am about the vampire universe and how corrupt even vampires can be, especially how corrupt vampires can be, um, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not necessarily playing to the cameraless fife, if you catch my drift. Okay, so... Uh, da, 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 downtown. And Santa Monica. Right. Where to? You know what? Let's head to Santa Monica first before we go to Kingsway. Just so we can... 
kind of, um, you know, continue some of the side quests. What the fuck? I'm not pressing anything. Okay, so first thing, what did it say? The Brother Salvage. Found a business card from Brother Salvage in Santa Monica at the latest murder scene, which is right up there. And I noticed earlier, yeah, we got a Masquerade Redemption, so thank God for that. This rain is the pungent sewage of hell seeping into the cracks of this putrid purgatory. Oh. Soon it will wash over and carry you all to the damnation sea. Well then, what does it say? Yeah, that's what I thought it said. The magazine is called Hooker. Ten easy steps to increase your hourly earnings. Carl Gay's Guide? How to be a better pimp? Bitch Frenzy. <laughs> Motor Horror Magazine. Anyways. Washer my ticket. Okay. Uh, hello. Looking for murderers here. Maybe even serial killers? Oh. Maybe we could try that one again. Okay, I'm going to save here. Can I... Thank you. So motherfucker can throw cars. Look, can we just talk? Why does no one talk? I'm not moving. No! Back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! What's the matter? Afraid of a fair fight? My work is done. I don't want to, but I'll fight you to the death. What's your work? Killing random lowlifes? Betraying kindred secrets? What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. All the same, I'd love to hear your explanation. Why? So you can pass judgment on me? So you can decide if those murderers deserve to be gutted? You'll never know how it feels, never! You broke the masquerade and risked the safety of every kindred. Or, you know what, try, make me understand. My family, my children were butchered by small-time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan, no ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there in the way? There's probably nothing you could have done. Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen. These murders were your revenge? Revenge, justice. Whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds, and licking their blood from my claws.
You have to have more control. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. That's the beast talking. It has a hold on you. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something! You better practice more control or you'll be en or you'll end up answering to the sheriff. I can't turn my back on the evil in this world. This is your last chance. I won't answer to anyone and you'll never take me alive, vampire. No one will take from me again. No one. Either we go our separate ways here or one of us dies. Just remember, you made me do this. What the fuck? Oh. Hi. So, is he a werewolf? And notice we also gained uh, some humanity as well. Our humanity is maxed out now, which is what I'd like to see. Okay. Let's just close that up. We are living in the last days of the last age of Yeah, 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 yeah. your wickedness and atone in these. Okay, let's go to the beach and talk to Julius. Oh wow, everyone's gone. What what what, what do, you, do you want? You Julius? No, 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 no. Have you been talk telling a mortal about us? Please. I I I don't I don't know. No. I I didn't I didn't mean me. I didn't mean to. I I don't understand what 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 I am. I I didn't I didn't know. I'm sorry, but there are consequences for exposing us to mortals. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please. Please. I, I'll never do it again. Julius, the punishment for talking is death. That's pretty cold, man. No, 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 no. Oh, God, God. They aren't my rules, you understand? Please. Please. Find your heart. Please. Find your heart. If I let you go and they find out, I could be risking my life. You, you, you could let me go. I, I, I promise. I, I, I would leave Los a Angeles. I swear. If you did, you would have to leave and never, and I mean never, come back. I, 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 will, I will. I, I promise. Please, but, 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 but find your heart. Alright, you leave LA, but if I ever see you again, ever, I'll kill you. On the spot. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Remember, Julius, never come back in this lifetime. Leave immediately. And off he goes. Well, I like to think we did some good here today. My stuff here is gone. Even my laptop's gone. Okay. I guess we officially moved into the Skyline Apartments. Nice. 
that's the money for the werewolf blood that I sent in. Um, since I'm here, I might as well check my email. I don't think I've checked it in a while. We were fourth floor. We? Pretty sure. Oh, I completely forgot about you. Hi. You look different. All right, I asked her to change, didn't I? Um, the hair I'm not a big fan of. The clothes are nice. Clothes are good. Oh, you're back. I um, I went out this evening and I, well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I, he came back here with me and, well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of tempted to do the first one because I'm like, you did what? But sure, second one. I love coming home to find dinner waiting. Thank you, my pet. I'm just glad you're pleased. Um, he's in the bathroom. Don't worry, I locked him in. Excellent. Um, d do I do I kill him? Let me let me save. is this shit? Let me out, goddammit. I'll kill that crazy bitch. Calm down. There's been a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. Yes, whatever. And after I drain you, you won't even know what year it is. What the hell does that mean? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Hey. Come here. I've got a secret to tell you. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm not going to kill him. But I guess we're leaving him locked in the bathroom. Uh oh. Email. Right. Three unread emails. Oh, nicely done. From LaCroix. Your assistance was much appreciated in regards to the werewolf flood. Please find your payment in the mailbox if you haven't already done so. Well, uh, menu nine, a gambit. The gambit has been played. The king leaves himself open. I've a certain financial interest in restaurant in Hollywood called the Cavaletti Cafe. I've made an offer on the establishment that is more than generous, but it seems that the owners are remiss to accept. It is my understanding that renowned food critic named Tommy Flayton will be writing an article about the restaurant very soon. Please intercept him uh, and make sure the review is unfavorable. Okay. In Hollywood, eh? Right. What have you been up to? Master? Uh, I fed on him, but let him live. Get him out as long as the trance is lasting. I promise it'll be done by the time you get back. Uh, good. Goodbye, Heather. I've, I feel so weird having a ghoul like Heather around. You know what I mean? Like, just telling her what to do. Like, I know for the vampire community, it's common, but I just feel weird. All right, we'll save it here, and I think that's going to do it for this episode. Ah, got quite a lot done. Um, those uh, creatures are certainly interesting. 
I'm also really not looking forward to going to the mansion and fighting them next time. But again, I guess they're not that bad. Uh, just can't feed off of them, which is a problem. But then again, I got eight bags of blood. So I, I, I should be fine. Um, yeah, they look like Zamitsi creations. Uh, so I'm I'm expecting to see some kind of Zamitsi um, vampire there. Yeah, I wonder what his whole deal is. But we'll find out next time. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.